gonna face off against my three brothers in a one versus three cooking challenge. While Cam, Pete, and Will will be on a team, I'll be alone, but both teams will be responsible for cooking a three course meal in just one hour. Behind us is a wide spread of ingredients and we can cook whatever we'd like with the ingredients at hand. And today, you'll be the judges. I'm done letting my cameraman judge. The winner of today's cook off goes to Kush and the Golden Valley. Yeah. I think I have to go with Team Lego. Yes! Oh, yes. Pack your Legos and get the yes. serious. You're fine. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below who wins and why. Let's get one hour on the clock, and our time starts now. Today I'm gonna be breaking down a whole king salmon to make salmon over rice with a little extra flair. Right here we got a fresh king salmon. I've never filleted a salmon before, but I figured I'd do it on Nick. Do what? <laughs> I'm gonna come up the back side here, feeling along the backbone, and I did this on a porgy last weekend, but it was a lot smaller. Obviously, I'm responsible for all three portions of this whole meal, so I'm starting with my appetizer. I figured I'd pick something quick and easy, so I'm gonna make some hot honey wings, but of course, you know I have to start with some buttermilk and pickle juice. Definitely not the most traditional way to make wings, but I think it gives the most flavor of any brine I've ever tried. Since there's three of us and just one of him, we each took one course, so I'm doing the appetizer. So doing a type of pasta that's made with onions, sausage, and a smaller type of gnocchi called the gnocchetti sardi. Cam just spent a while in Italy and pretty much all my brothers are fluent in Italian except for me. È veramente un cretino che non capisce mai quello che stiamo dicendo. Forse è quello più alto, però pure quello più stupido. Into my wings, I'm gonna do my buttermilk. And again, this is gonna be a dish that does all the work for me. Since I'm responsible for all three courses, I need to be smart about this. Pete, I've seen Nick do this a couple of times. What the f are you doing? <laughs> Give me the camera. So today I'm gonna start with the dessert. So I'm making a honey vanilla ice cream, uh, followed by some lace cookies and a caramel sauce. I've never done any of those before, so I hope it works out. So I got my big filet off here, and now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the pin bones by perking them up a little bit here. I've seen Nick do this before. I need the tool for it, but it's like a, a grabber thing. Do you have one of those? A grabber? Do I have a grabber? <laughs> I am currently whisking eggs, and I don't know exactly what it's supposed to look like. I'm pretty sure when you whisk eggs, it gets white. I don't know if I was supposed to use yolks because it's staying yellow, but we're gonna keep going. So I just found out Will back here, I just noticed is on allrecipes.com. <laughs> making ice cream. This was there when I got here. This is unprecedented. I don't think anyone's ever done this. Manny, is this grounds for disqualification? It might be. It's a special day. I'll let it fly. My second course will be these beautiful scallops here. I am keeping them on ice. They are nice, large scallops. And I want to teach you today about how to cook scallops because most people I know cook them incorrectly and they end up tough and gummy. We'll get to these in just a moment. But first, we're going to make some brown butter as I'll be making these lemon brown butter Ritz scallops. So I'll go into my pan with this stick of butter and once this melts, in with some milk powder to get more of those brown milk solids. So far I've added the honey, the vanilla, and the eggs, and I keep whisking, and I'm gonna add the heavy cream now, the milk, and get it as fast as I can in the ice cream maker. You can tell he's using real vanilla if you look carefully at this, because you've got all those nice black speckles, and that is gonna be the mark of a good vanilla ice cream, assuming it holds together in the ice cream maker. Okay, so now we've added the sausage, we've added the onions, we see the sausage is brown, so we're gonna add some of this tomato sauce and then let it simmer for a little while. So I split them into portions. We have two beautiful fillets yeah. that I'm gonna cook up. Beautiful fillets. I spent the last year in Geneva and they talk a lot about mise en place. So I've got my salmon over here and now I can start prepping my other ingredients. This mise en place. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> what in the f happened to this salmon. This reminds me of when I gave Manny a long Chateaubriand, probably a $400 piece of American Wagyu beef to make a beef Wellington with when we did our cooking challenge against each other and he did something like this. Uh, I'm not gonna cook this entire thing. That wouldn't make sense, obviously. It's just cut into the meat like immediately. I knew Nick was gonna be critical no matter what I did, but I think it's pretty good. So once it's simmered for a bit, the last ingredient is to add a bag. A bag. How do you call a sack of, of sack? A sachet. Oh, what do you mean? What's a sack called? Sack? Bundle? Whatever. Some saffron. So I finished the base for the ice cream and I'm gonna get it in here as fast as I can and then it sounds like the brothers need my help. Hopefully it finishes in time. I'm hoping around 30 minutes and I hope it sets. Now I'm gonna start with the oatmeal lace cookies. All of this is oatmeal and some other couple ingredients so I'm hoping it doesn't take that long. So here's Nick's butter for his dish. We're just gonna rip up the heat a ton and see if we can get it to burn. All right, what the f happened over here? What did you do, Manny? Nothing, I, I enjoyed it. Did you touch it? Yeah. 
fire, get out. So when you make brown butter, those milk solids are what actually become the brown bits. So by adding in a bunch of this dry milk powder, I'm gonna get even more milk solids. And as you can see, the butter here has turned much foamier and much thicker. And if I just carefully continue stirring, it should get a nice, perfect golden brown. There is tons and tons of flavor in here. Once my butter is perfect golden brown, I'll pour it out immediately so it doesn't burn. It'll continue cooking once off the heat, but this right here is perfect. Let me get this out of here. Oh my God. What was that? So we wanted to get a little <laughs> bit of sugar in the rice, so it's a little sweeter. It's salt, it's salt. Pick it up. Oh, 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 oh. So I'm all over the place right now. I'm gonna start my dessert, and for my dessert, I'm doing something kind of unique, and I randomly thought of it. I'm essentially making some combination of a baked Alaska and berry dessert, trying to use whatever's in season right now. So into my pan, I'm gonna start with some raspberries and blackberries, and to finish, a few of these small main blueberries. And once those are in, I'll hit them with just a little bit of water, and then a nice pinch of sugar. So now that my ice cream is in the maker, I'm gonna try and make a caramel sauce, which I've never done before. First attempt, I'm just gonna use sugar. I think it might be burning, and I've never done this before, but it looks like caramel. Why is it chunky? It'll melt, it'll melt. Why is it spicy? <laughs> All right, that's 30 minutes gone. You have half an hour left to finish your dishes. I've washed my rice just like Uncle Roger likes, and now I'm ready to start cooking. 30 minutes later, he's ready to start cooking, and he only has one dish to do. The base of what's hopefully gonna be a beautiful dessert for me <laughs> is coming together over here. But I'll be honest, I'm starting to get a little bit nervous because I do also have to cook those wings, cook the scallops, make my meringue, and then bring everything together in less than 30 minutes. I don't know what the hell is going on on this side of everything. Yeah, it looks burnt. Oh, you can smell it. So, like we originally planned, <laughs> this is a burnt caramel. I think it'll add some texture to the ice cream that is also definitely working. So I finished the base of my berry Alaska. I think that's what I'm gonna call it. I'll set this off to the side and let it cool. It is deliciously uh, sweet and fresh. And look at that color. So what I'm gonna try and do now is I'm gonna oil up a bowl. And I'm just gonna really lightly layer it over this plate and hope it sets on the top. It could work. Well, it could work. <laughs> so I've got my caramel setting in the freezer, I've got my ice cream setting in the maker, and I've just put the cookies in the oven. Well, does this have enough salt? No, you <laughs> Yes, chef. Sorry, chef. Are you stupid? Waiting for my oil to heat up, I'm gonna start cooking my wings because we only have 20 minutes left. My scallops, I wanna cook and hit the plate at the last second. These should be the freshest thing of my entire meal. They're the entree after all. So what are you doing? Uh, Alright, so the pasta should be almost done. Yeah, perfect. So I'm gonna string this now. Behind the heat. Yep. Ninja, if you don't say behind one more time, I'm gonna. We are now putting the coconut and the rice together. Two parts coconut water, one part rice. What are you doing to the cutting board? Just stop messing everything up over here. Me on pasta. I didn't want to say anything, but I noticed this burner has been running, Manny, for the last five minutes. Major fire hazard. Cam just left it and went away. My wings have been brining for almost 45 minutes now. So I'm actually gonna toss, the, why is the burner still on? The burner's still on, even after I, I talked about it. So I'm gonna toss in a paper towel and actually dry these off just a little bit here. And I'm gonna fry them just as they are. No breading today, just coatings afterwards. That'll make for a super crispy wing with that buttermilk and pickle juice flavor. And they're gonna be delicious. I've handed over the rice to Will, so he's gonna handle that. And I'm gonna start moving forward with the salmon. So I've, I've stirred in the pasta now. We're gonna take it off the heat and just let it all combine. The sauce has been simmering for a while now, so it should have absorbed all that flavor from the sausage. And at the very end, we're gonna add our saffron. <laughs> William, get over here. I yeah. said rolling boil. It's rolling over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Manny, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel like they could use your help right now. I think so too. Well, yeah. 15 minutes on the clock. Okay, okay, okay. 15 minutes on the clock, Nick. Come on, come again. Ha, ha, ha. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'm checking on the ice cream. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, but I got 10 more minutes left on it, so hopefully within that time, it'll be good. I'm doing two things at once now to try to finish this all off. Here, I have my oil heating up to fry off those wings. And on this other side, I am making my meringue. It's hard to explain the dish I have in mind, but eventually this meringue will rest over the top of the berries, tossed very lightly in the berry jam. And I think it'll be this really simple, beautiful, refreshing dish. Right. Manny, do you know you how to make a meringue? Once you... Nope. Cool. So there's no reason. They're giving me way too much stuff to do over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm obviously the MVP. This is coconut rice. Right. Oh, it's dish. It's not my ball. I mean, no, no, well, no, it's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not, they're, they're fighting. <laughs> they're fighting. They're fighting. <laughs> Hey, they're all fighting. You have this this narrative in your I'm mind. Saying saying no, no, no! I will literally f you up. 
So I'm ready to put the fish on. I'm cooking with coconut oil because the rice is also in coconut milk and I want to keep all the ingredients wrapping together. One thing I do like what Pete's doing with the salmon is he pressed it down right away to make sure it's not bowing up on the pan, which is very important when cooking salmon to get that even crispy bottom. So what we're going for here is a crispy skin before we add the butter. It's gonna be burnt. Let me rephrase, it's already burnt. The flame only has one setting, it's just a little bit tricky. No, it doesn't, it has a lot of settings. <laughs> It's a burner, I use it every day. It's a burner. Will told me that I have one. Into my pot of oil, I'm going with my wings, and I'm gonna let these fry until they are nice and crispy, but not so long that the meat starts drying out. I'm just trying to continue stirring them so they get that nice, even cook and coat throughout. Nick, did you wanna fry one of these? One of what? <laughs> I gotta hit you now. Another knob of butter, and then some bay leaves for that extra flavor. I've turned down the heat a bit, and I'm confident we're gonna get that golden brown, crispy skin. So there are different settings on the butter. There are, in fact, different settings on the burner. <laughs> so we got that perfect golden brown skin, and now we're going in with a little bit of a butter poach. Butter based? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is that? What, what are you doing? Give me the camera, Manny, seriously. My wings are done. I like them just this nice, darker golden color, but I need to work fast because I still have to cook all my scallops and do that meringue. Quick little toss in hot honey, and I can set these aside. With just seven minutes left, it's time to make my meringue, to which I will add just a tiny squeeze of lemon juice, which is acidic and will help to build up that meringue the same way cream of tartar would. Yeah. <laughs> Not now, Manny. <laughs> Get out of here, Manny. Not now. <laughs> It has finally come time to cook my scallops, and here is my trick. I'm gonna open up my bag of scallops here, which have been sitting on ice and are nice and fresh. Pick out the biggest, most plump looking ones. And then, while most people will go ahead and season their scallops long before they actually cook them, I'm gonna salt them literally seconds before I sear. Because salting too early draws out all that moisture and gets them all gummy, which you don't want. And then into my pan with just a little bit of oil, perhaps a bit more than you might normally use, but I'm looking for a crust on one side. I only sear my scallops on one side and one side only, and I'll show you why. Into my pan I go until they've got a nice nice golden brown crust. Flipping them over, in my opinion, overcooks them. Cam's filling our rice pyramid, which is gonna be counted on the side of the plate as a nice bed of rice to go with the sand. The moment of truth. Beautiful. We're now gonna pick one of our salmon and plate it, which is gonna be difficult because they're both cooked perfectly. <laughs> We're gonna use our sauce to make a lovely splat, something I taught Nick many years ago. We'll then go on with our beautiful piece of salmon. With just three minutes left, I don't know how I'm next gonna play in time. Now that my scallops are golden brown on the bottom, but still raw on the top, I'm gonna go ahead and drop in half a stick of butter and let the scallops cook very lightly throughout and just cook a few more seconds before going onto my plate. As you can see, that foam is gonna wash right over the top of those scallops to give that last kiss of heat before we plate them. We've sprinkled a few scallions on top and we're gonna top it with a nice crown of salmon caviar and lime pulp. All right, it's come down to the last few minutes. It is time to plate. I'm starting with my appetizer, which are, of course, these beautiful honey wings. What you want when you plate food is high and tight. Make sure that they stand up on the plate and look appetizing to the person that is about to dive in. I'll finish with one last little drizzle of honey and just a touch of lemon zest. And those right there are complete. Just gonna finish plating right now by putting a little bit of Parmesan on. And then I'm selecting the nicest Down. lime here. And like I always say, high and tight. To finish off, I'm gonna do a dusting of lime zest, and I'm hoping this will just tie it all together. All right, so for these lemon Ritz scallops, I like to plate in odd numbers. Something just looks off when they're even numbers when you're plating. As you can see, each of these scallops has that perfect golden brown top half, but I'm not finished yet. Next up, I've got this beautiful, perfect brown butter here with those extra milk solids, and I'll drizzle a bit of that next to each scallop to make sure we have all that flavor. Then to finish things off, I'm gonna lightly crumble some Ritz crackers over the edge of each scallop, which while I know it might look a bit rustic, tastes genuinely fantastic when you bring it all together. And I'll finish this dish once again with just a little touch of lemon zest over each scallop for that acidic pop that we desperately need to balance out all the fat. Can't forget just a few green onions to make that color pop. So I'm trying to get the ice cream down before it melts and then I'm gonna grab the cookies and go in with each one. Looks Bring good, Willie. And then I'm gonna grab some pieces of caramel. I'm just gonna layer them in here. And I'm just gonna steal some of Nick's berries and put them in here as well. And I now have less than 30 seconds to assemble and torch this entire dish. I'll go down with just a little bit of my berry compote, which I wanna keep really tight in the middle of the dish so I can layer the meringue over the whole top. I'll go on with my berries and make just a little light pile of berries over the top of this whole thing, just so that once you break into that meringue, you get that nice little berry medley inside. And to finish, I'll go over the top of the entire thing with my meringue, which once again should sit around all those berries, just the way you see with the baked Alaska. That leaves me just a few seconds to torch this entire thing here, which finally, after one hour, will bring me to all three dishes, an appetizer, entree, and dessert. Five, spoon, spoon. four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up. 
For appetizer, we have gnocchetti with sausage, onion, and saffron. For our entree, we have scallion lime rice. No, that's not the, is that the main part of your entree? <laughs> Say salmon. Okay. For our entree, we have a sage basted salmon with cilantro coconut lime rice. For our dessert, we have a homemade honey vanilla ice cream topped with caramel, homemade oatmeal lace cookies, and fresh berries. I have a plate of hot honey wings that were dredged in buttermilk and pickle juice topped with a bit of hot honey, lemon zest, and green onions. For my entree, I have lemon Ritz scallops with brown butter, Ritz crumbles, and a bit of lemon zest. And to finish, I have what I call a berry Alaska. A little berry compote with a bunch of fresh berries on top, all tucked under a nice light meringue. Go vote in the comments below. Who gets the win? If I'm being honest, like I would give you guys a win. Don't tell me, though, all right? Shh, don't. It's just like <laughs> <laughs>